this State of the Church report, which is produced by the Connexal Table and United Methodist Communications, is about how our church has dealt with the unique challenges of this time, with the uncertainties those challenges have brought and still carried out its mission. We have been the Christian community of which Jesus spoke in his Sermon on the Mount. We have been the poor in spirit. We have been those who mourn. But we have also been the church living out a gospel of love and being in ministry with and for a world that has faced untold illness and millions of death. We really are at a very special time where a large part of the world's population has had the same experience of a life-threatening disease. God has called us for such a time as this, to provide comfort and grace and a glimpse of God's kingdom to a world that is suffering. Blessed is the church. Despite a once-in-a-lifetime global health threat, the United Methodist Church has continued to do ministry. Our pastors, who are so used to being with their people, sitting at bedsides of the sick, being with extended families during funerals instead, have had to do ministry in the midst of a pandemic that has done its most devastating work by separating us. Our laity, who were so used to fellowshipping on Sunday mornings, corralling children into Sunday school, singing in choirs and praise bands, have had to learn to sing the songs of the church on a computer and minister to those children over Facebook. All of our people have had to deal with the loneliness and isolation that has come with this pandemic, yet, Yet United Methodists have still done the ministry to which we are called. We have found ways to continue ministering to one another and to reach out beyond the walls of the church to engage the community as never before. Blessed is the church. Blessed is the church. Blessed is the church. In December of 2020, the church gave almost $40 million to apportionments to support ministry around the globe. It was the highest rate of giving in one month in the history of the United Methodist Church, and it came during a global health crisis. It came during a time of economic stress. It came because United Methodists are faithful in their mission and ministry to the world. In his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And well, blessed are those who have the meekness to give rather than to receive. Blessed are those who are willing to sacrifice so that others may survive. And blessed are those who continue to give of their resources and of themselves, even when under stress. And the unique stresses that began in 2020 have been great. It was not just COVID-19, but fires and floods and political violence and the scourges of poverty and the displacement of peoples. In the midst of this, God called United Methodists to do the most good possible. And the people of this church responded, Blessed is the church. Blessed is the church in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The United Methodist Church is spreading the gospel, working to alleviate poverty and suffering, and seeking to bring equity and justice to all parts of life. In other parts of the world, the United Methodist Church is standing up to state-sponsored violence, standing against racism and colonialism, even trying to dismantle racism and colonialism within the church itself. This church, continues to feed the hungry, work to heal the sick, visit those in prison, and care for the least of these as if they were Christ himself. Blessed is the church. church. You are the salt of the earth. Don't become complacent in the face of suffering. 
Don't be quiet in the face of injustice and so lose your saltiness. Because if salt loses its taste, then what good is it? You are the light of the world, a city built on a hill. Our mission and ministry are important because God calls us to let our light shine so that others might have hope. Don't let God's light in us dim because of our disagreements. Blessed is the United Methodist Church. No one lights a lamp and hides it under a bushel basket. We should not hide our light under our own internal struggles. We can let the light of Christ shine within us and through us so that it can illumine the world. If we continue to let our light shine, it will draw others to the light of Jesus Christ. And if we continue to hold on to our saltiness, who will be a church that is salt to the earth? If we continue to hunger and thirst for righteousness, to work for peace, to comfort the mourning and lift up the poor, then we will be God's blessing to the world. Blessed is the church. Blessed is the United Methodist Church.